Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. So, hope everyone is doing great, having a good time in your professional life, in your personal life. So, this is another video with regards to Costex. Recently, I put a poll both in my LinkedIn account and in my YouTube channel regarding which software is like everyone looking forward to learn more and in both cases I saw that Costex is that software that most people are looking forward to learn so Costex has been leading in both the polls so that is the reason why I've been making videos on Costex you don't get to find much videos on Costex related topics so if you are someone who is looking to learn about the software. Yeah, I know that practically if you don't do it, it won't be that much useful. But at least if you know the different ways by which you can upload drawings or scale drawings. And if you know that basic concept, then once you start using it, you can easily understand where each button is, which tab is used for what purpose. So that is the main intention of making these videos. Trying to purchase it would be a costly affair. So in this video, I'll be giving you an easy way to find out whether you have scaled your drawing. So in Costex, if you are uploading PDF drawings, you need to scale it. It does not get automatically scaled. AutoCAD drawings will automatically get scaled. But in case of PDF drawings, you need to manually check what the scale is and put that scale. And how to do that, I know I have already made videos on that. So you can go through it. So this can be very useful when you have a lot of drawings, lot of PDF drawings that you're working on. And sometimes it can be a uh, possibility that you might miss out scaling a particular drawing or a lot of drawings so if that happens then definitely there will be a little bit of error in your measurement so to avoid that what you can do that is what i'll be showing in this video so if you see in this video there are a lot of drawings this is something a uh, project that i've already done i mean i have divided it into different sections drawings that i have uploaded because it was a uh, infra project and a road project so i have divided the drawings under each road names so if you see here p1 s1 so there are a lot of drawings i think there are almost 200 drawings here so i'm just opening all these subheadings so you see i've opened the all the subheadings so all the drawings you can see so to understand whether you have scaled or not what you can do is here you see there is a star button just click on that and click on scale so if you see all these PDF drawings are mostly 1 is to 500. So I have scaled almost every drawing. In between, if I had not scaled any one drawing, then that would have been shown here. So for example, I'll just upload one drawing. So I'm just uploading one drawing, a new drawing into this Costex file. So I'll make a new folder and put this drawing under that test insert see if you see here you can see all these drawings are you can easily understand it is 1 is to 500 that has been scaled but see it is 1 is to 1 so that means you have not scaled this drawing so if you do your working on it without scaling it then the measurements will be wrong so what you can do is just edit drawing properties and what the scale is it will be 1 is to 500 just go and change scale is to 1 is to 500 update so this will automatically turn into 1 is to 5. So even if you miss out something at the end after you have done all your measurements, you can just click on this and select scale and see if you have uh, not, like if you have missed out scaling something. Even if you have measured and then like if you have measured it under the 1 is to 1 scale, it is okay. If you just change it into 1 is to 500, then automatically all the measurements done will be updated. So that would not be a problem it is okay even if you do your measurements without scaling a drawing you can scale it later on also so thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye